Today, Princess Diana would have been 37 years old, but she's not. She died last year. Her death has sent shockwaves around the world, and I'm here outside Kensington Palace to ask whether she should become a figure like God or Buddha or something like that, or whether she was just a princess who died in a car crash. Uh, I mean, she did do a lot of, of good for, for the, the sick, people with AIDS and, and, and mad people, nutters. Is, is that a good thing to have a public figure helping nutty people? Oh, definitely, and she did. She was with the people and touched them. People have been saying in the press today, Queen of Hearts, she baked some tarts. How do you feel about that? I don't really know. I, I, that's just the press, isn't it? The press don't really understand people's opinions and people's values. For what she did for charity and for what she believed in, it struck a chord with many people, yeah. and that's why it strikes a, strikes a chord with me. Yeah. And I think... What chord, what chord is, it, is it struck with you? The C chord? No, the one with the heart, the heart chord, you know? Since the death of... I've obviously been very moved by it, which is, which is fine. But a lot of people have actually made her almost a holy figure, uh, you know, made her bigger than she actually was. Do you think that's right? Well, yes, because I think that's what she deserved. She did a lot of good, helped a lot of people, uh, yes. She should, should become almost a big religious figure? Yes, I think she should. Who do you think's best, Christ or Diana? I don't know. Who do you think is, is, is the best, Jesus or Diana? I would say Jesus, definitely. Why, why do you say Jesus? Because of his beard? Diana, after all, is human. I mean, she did great things, but Jesus, I would say, is more important. Even though he, he had a beard? Yeah, definitely. There's a bare-knuckle fight. Christ versus Diana. Who's going to win? Excuse me? There's a, there's a bare-knuckle fight. Christ is having a punch-up with Diana. Who's going to win? Uh, well, uh, I don't really know. They should put uh, something uh, as a sort of memorial here. You know, they were talking about it on television. You know. Really, she deserves, uh, you know. Maybe opening a church for her. Yes, yes. The Church of Diana, perhaps. Yes. There's been a, a move to make Princess Diana actually Santa. Do you think that we, we should make her Santa? Well, I, I don't know if she likes being Santa, because she likes the life, and uh, she enjoys having mother, so... Uh, she gets to give out all those presents and things, doesn't she? I don't know what I say. She, she look, I mean, she looks, she looks good in red. Um, oh, yeah, beautiful. I bought yesterday, uh, what do you call it, put in here? A ring. No. Uh, a nipple? nipple. Oh, a, a nipple? Yeah, I bought yesterday. You, you bought a red nipple yesterday. Do you, think that, do you think that Prince Diana actually had a problem with Charlie? I, I do, most certainly. Do you think towards the end that Charlie got up her nose? Well, I don't know her life uh, with Charlie, and uh, that's not... You mean she definitely had a life with Charlie, is that what you're saying? Yeah, I know she had a life with Charlie. The, the lines of Charlie, I mean, it meant nothing, or, or, or was it really important? It obviously meant nothing. When, when the funeral took place in, in England, there were, there were people just hitting themselves like this on the head. People in the streets just doing that. What, did any of that happen in oh, Canada? Absolutely. Yeah, I was uh, very, very distraught by her death, you know, because I actually am from England originally, right. and... Um, just, I was, you know, just devastated. But were there people actually doing that in Canada? Well, there is a, you know, a, a large English population there, and yeah, we, you know, we kind of all got together and think, what the heck's going on over there? You know, what are they, what are they doing to her? You know, just doing that all the time. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. As you're aware, Tony Blair has been asking people today on Diana's birthday to to light a candle for Princess Diana. What if I could ask you just to, just to hold that? And if there's a lighter there, if you could light that candle, and uh, just have a a moment's silence while we're thinking of Princess Diana. Um, so do you mind if I just light this candle for you? Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. I'm holding this camera for uh, Princess Diana. It's Diana. Oh. Princess Diana, sorry. So we're lighting the candle now for Princess Diana, who would have been 37 today. Oh dear, you've... you've no, it's, it's snuffed it, I think. No, I think the, the candle's, the candle's going to blow out in the wind. I think, I think we've snuffed it. Tony Blair introduced National uh, No Landmines Day and you had to hop to and from work. Would you do that? Yes. I'm doing this for National Landmine Day. Well, that's great. So it's National No Landmine Day. And if you... I, I know it's, it's a bit funny showing camera. If you do it without laughing as well, just because it's a bit of a solemn thing. Deep breath. So I'm doing this for National No Landmine Day. Here we go. I'm doing this for National No Land Day. No Landmine. Mind. Sorry, it's okay, don't worry, it's okay, I'll try it again. I'm doing this for National No Landmine Day. What we're trying to do is we're trying to get everyone in the country to sing happy birthday to Princess Diana, as it would have been her birthday. Would you mind just looking at the camera and singing happy birthday to her? Uh, happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, dear Princess Diana. I miss you a lot. 
I think you're making fun of me right now. <laughs> yes. <laughs>